British Columbia has marketed itself to the world as a beautiful destination, a place where tourists can get their fill of mountains and scenery and breathtaking adventure travel. But is the province now on the road to a new reputation as the best place to get well? Health Minister Kevin Falcon says he wants to sell health services to offshore patients and earn top dollar for our health care system. Critics, however, say the only thing that that's going to do is increase the wait times for patients at home. Beautiful British Columbia. Tourists come here for the weather, for the scenery, for the hospitality, and for the big ticket events. But will they one day make the trek for major surgery instead? That is the dream of Health Minister Kevin Falcon, who says he'd like to turn this province into a world-class destination for health tourism. You'll hear people talk about our uh, system in terms of its expense and its cost, but nobody ever looks at the revenue potential in our system. You know, why can't British Columbia be the Mayo Clinic of the North? Falcon's grand plan? Market healthcare services to international patients the same way we woo international students from around the world. The foreign students pay more than locals for a good Canadian education, and our schools and universities earn big money that pays for from more spaces and more teachers. I think we ought to look at the fact that we've got some of the best doctors, the best facilities, and see whether, just as we do in post-secondary education, we can generate revenue on health care that can benefit British Columbians. Wait a minute, says NDP health critic Adrian Dix, who predicts there's no way to open up our best facilities and offer up our best doctors without bumping BC patients to the back of the line. And what he's saying is that wait time should increase, the people should wait longer for him to open up space to sell on the open market. So what if we said during those non-peak periods where they're not being used in the overnight periods or on weekends, if we said, well, let's utilize some of these facilities. But new Democrats are also skeptical about the business plan. Let's face it, many people in the United States, true, don't have access to health care. But they're not the kind, they're not of the financial means to pay four times the price for, for a surgery. If the health minister wanted to grab the spotlight today, he got it. The question now, might we actually see these changes? Or is Falcon just visiting the issue? About it. Is this going to amount to anything more than talk? <laughs> no. Well, I hope so. You know me. I like to do more than talk. Shachi Girl joins us now uh, with more. Shachi, how serious uh, is the minister about this? Well, Hudson, we didn't hear any details today. Nothing costed out. So really just call this blue skying on the part of the minister. However, the government has been seeing red this afternoon over what it calls a misrepresentation over the way it pays for some daycare. Now, last night we showed you how the province was cutting $36 million from the amount it pays out from gambling revenues. And among the organizations that will get less are certain daycares. What I don't understand, Mr. Speaker, is how the minister can stand up and talk about protection when he eliminates grants for environmental groups, eliminates grants for arts and culture, eliminates grants for playgrounds, cuts grants for childcare and preschools. Now that does sound pretty bad, especially when the NDP goes on to say that some of these daycares will see their gambling money slashed by 50%. It sounds like a really big amount that would have a really big impact on small children. But then we did some checking, and while no one is disputing that the affected daycares will only get half of what they were getting, this amounts actually to just $4.5 million. And the government is pushing back tonight, pointing out that it's spending another $26 million over the next three years, and that is new money for child care programs. So, uh, you know, we just wanted to dig a little bit deeper and make sure we had the whole story tonight, Hudson. All right. I'm glad you did, Shachi. Thank you. You're welcome. Shachi Curl reporting.